In the last video, we saw how to precisely position elements in a web layout using Tailwind CSS position utilities. In this video, we are dealing with another important topic related to layout that is overflow. The overflow utilities are crucial for handling content that extends beyond its container. Here are the utilities we will cover. We will use a single example to demonstrate all of these. Here I have a simple div element inside the body with the child element. As you can see the child element is extending beyond the container which creates an overflow. Now let's see how Tailwind's overflow utilities can help us manage this. First up let's see how we can use the overflow auto utility. So we will add overflow auto to the parent element and save it and you can see that it created two scroll bars one vertically and one horizontally here. So it automatically detects which side the content is overflowing and creates the scroll bar in that direction. Now reduce the height and width of this child element. You would see it automatically disappears. Now you can see you don't see a scroll bar to scroll vertically because it is not overflowing. Only the width is overflowing that's why it is here. And the same way you can use width 64 for example and height you can have 96 and save it. Now you can see only the height is overflowing that's why the scroll bar is created only vertically and not horizontally. And there will be some cases where you don't specify both width and height. Maybe you specify only width. In those cases you can also use overflow x auto and y auto so if you specifically want to check if the content is overflowing in the x axis then you can use overflow x auto and when you save this now width is 64 so it is not overflowing but if the width is 96 it overflows and the scroll bar is created in the x axis same way with y axis if the height is overflowing then you can use overflow y auto and it will create scroll bar only in the y direction so you have to use according to the specific situation that you have not all utilities will work for all situations so keep that in mind next we will see the utility called overflow hidden let's add width 96 to this and remove the overflow auto now again we can see the content is overflowing and overflow hidden is pretty straightforward you would have guessed already any content that extends beyond the containers boundaries is simply hidden that's all so if we add overflow hidden it just hides the entire content that is overflowing as you can see there is no content beyond this and I would like to mention overflow visible here because overflow visible generally is a default behavior so the situations that we might use overflow visible are very low so this is an example where we can use that overflow visible let's say for example you want to hide the content that is overflowing by default but when you hover on the container you want to see what is hidden then you would add the hover state and then use overflow visible now if you save that you can see when you hover you can see the overflowing content and when you don't hover you just see that it is hidden so that's the use case of overflow visible then we have overflow scroll utility sometimes you might want to force a scroll bar to appear even when the content fits within the container then you would use overflow scroll utility so let me remove these overflow utilities and let's reduce the height and width of this child element save it now you don't see any content that is overflowing and you don't see any scroll bars but even then if you want to show scroll bar then you can use overflow scroll and if you save it you can see on both directions you have the scroll bar I mean you cannot scroll because the content is not overflowing but it is a way to tell the user that it can be scrolled 
and there is more content to explore the same way we have overflow x scroll means you would see the scroll bar only in the x axis and y scroll for y axis so that's a quick overview of tailwind css overflow utilities play around with these utilities in your projects to manage overflowing content effectively in the next video we will dive into one of the most important topics to help you build beautiful responsive websites flexbox see you in the next one